Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started in this listen, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rukak Dash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, I want to give salutations to all the Akim, that's all the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth. And righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, 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 shalom. My brother Hakar, GMS South Carolina Midlands Branch. And back with another video here. And this um this listen here, man, I'm pretty much um probably gonna entitle this listen, um, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Um uh, pretty much that's what I'm gonna be going into as far as uh the topic, you know what I'm saying? Out the rock is out, you know what I'm saying? I pray that it's edifying, but the topic that I'm going to go into where you got Jake out here still, you know, trusting in Egypt, you know what I'm saying, still in that mindset, that mentality that, you know, they have no understanding that Babylon's going to be destroyed, man, you know what I'm saying, and if and if you don't return back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh from that Babylonian state of mind, then you know what I'm saying, you're going to be burnt within, man, in Babylon, man, your ass going to be burned up in fucking Babylon, man, ultimately, man, that's second death, man, all right? If you how about your mouth shop uh, preserve your ass that long, man, you know, because, you know, most I could take you out in many fashions at the end of the damn day through the sword, through the uh, through famine, through pestilence, through newly created creatures. You know what I'm saying? Or ultimately, you know what I'm saying? Um, through those thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Those uh, those um, those arrow, those warheads, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Those warheads on those missiles. All right, which represents that 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 destroying wind, man. All right, so you how about your mouth shot? Like I said, he got a million and one ways to, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, take your ass out, man. If you don't return back to your how about your mouth shot, and I'm speaking to the Hebrew Israelites. All right, you know, cause this, that's who this word and truth is for. That's salvation is only for Israel and only the elect of Israel, which is one third, um, which is read in um. Um, Zechariah 13, 89, which is going to be delivered. Two thirds are going to be destroyed going back to Zechariah 13 and 8. So um, this is the time that we, like I said, we're approaching, you know what I'm saying, the time of the visitation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So to still be in that God bless America, you know, Jake still think that, you know, they can go to the voting polls and still can make changes for our people to where they're still trying to get equality and uh, you know what I'm saying, be equal to the so-called white man and thinking that they're going to be liberated uh, through economics. We can we can free ourselves through economic. Get out of here, man. Jake tried that going all the way back to the early 1900s. You know what I'm saying? The uh, Black Wall Street, man. Jake already tried that. And what happened? Y'all about you know how shut that shit down, man, because that, um, that wasn't prophecy. All right. You know, the script to tell you that Israel, we weren't going to thrive as a nation here in Babylon. We was going to suffer. We was going to be the poor. We was going to be the tail. We would have to go to Esau. All right. And he's he the nation for the wants of all things at the end of the day due to the curses pursuing back to Deuteronomy 28th chapter uh, 15 verse on down to 68. man. All right. So Jake don't even understand. You know why we was why you how about your mouth was shot places here in Babylon, man? Why we was taken here in Babylon in captivity and slavery, man? All right, not you know what I'm saying not. I mean, for us to you know what I'm saying because we sin against you how about your mouth shot ultimately? All right, you know we sin against you how about your mouth was shot, and also in Babylon the elect was gonna remember themselves, man. All right, pursuing back to Baruch, and we are gonna get those scriptures as well too. But to be to be in the mentality, to be in the mindset of god bless america and want to see america continuing to go on you know that, that that means you wicked as all hell man you don't want to see justice brought upon babylon how people done suffered how people you know what i'm saying israel you so-called negro so-called latino so-called native americans to you so-called hispanics all right how how esau you know shed the blood of israel all right then then and continually even now man all right, you know what I'm saying? On this fucking American soil, and ain't no justice being bought yet, you know, being bought down from your how about your mouth shy, you know what I'm saying, on Esau and his kingdom, which is about to come. We coming in that time, man. So to sit there and say, God bless America, you want to prolong prophecy, and you don't want to see your how about your mouth shy bring judgment and seeing this place, Babylon, be destroyed. Then that means you, your ass is wicked, man. That means you wicked, man. Because this place is going to be destroyed. It's already prophesied to be destroyed. It's already written. 
All right? So that so, so that make your ass, you know what I'm saying, the adversary, you know what I'm saying, of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. But let's get the first scripture here. Let's get, um, I said a mouthful. Let's get Hebrews 13. Shalak. Let's get Hebrews 13 and 14. It says, and this, 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 you, this is you, um, this is you, um, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. I'll be there. I'm teaching right now. I'll be there in a minute. I'm teaching right now. I'll be there in a minute. I'll be in a minute. Yeah. Um, this right here, Hebrews 13 and 14. All right. Shalak for that interruption. Shalak, shalak for that interruption. But anyway, this right here, you know, to the spirit, the word and truth, a hey, spirit still going on, still moving forward, man. The message still going out, man. All right, but it's Hebrews 13 and 14. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Huh? All right, you know what I'm saying? So, the, you know what I'm saying? The elect, you know what I'm saying? We know that our faith and our trust ain't in no fucking Babylon, man. All right, you know? We're not looking to continue in, in fucking Babylon. Every day we, we are praying and we hoping and we hasten for the day of Yahweh Shem Shai for Y'all about to try to bring destruction to Babylon, man. All right. And we know prophecy has to take place first. You know, end time prophecy. We know um, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Y'all about to try ain't coming back tomorrow because we know through prophecy, you know what I'm saying? You know, the uh, the sea hip still got to be mandate before Esau mandate the sea hip. All right. You know, the Karagma before he mandated and make it law worldwide, you know, he got to collapse his goddamn dollar bill, man. All right. He got to collapse his dollar bill. And switch over everything to the digital currency, all right, from the Federal Reserve, you know what I'm saying, to the digital currency worldwide at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You know it have to be uncivil rest here in Babylon, okay? The famine of the word, you know what I'm saying, martial law, all right? You know what I'm saying? Then, like I said, mandating the, the, the karagma. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Esau coming like a madman against the men of the Lord, um, looking to persecute the prophets. All right, you know what I'm saying? Then those nuclear missiles, man, World War Three. Then it's gonna be full throttle where, you know what I'm saying, those archers are gonna be uh, you know what I'm saying, the archers gonna be releasing that bow, which represents those nuclear missiles, you know, come out of those silos, you know, and all that gonna be through the power and through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. So we know through prophecy, measuring the time, going back to second edge is nine, that we are very, very, very close, man. We're very close, man. All right. But reading again, it says, For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come, which is the kingdom, man. All right. Because going back to uh, Micah, going back to Micah, we understand. We understand. This is not our rest. See, Jake, they, 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 Jake is up under the, the, the illusion, delusion. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we can make it here. We can make it in Babylon. Look how much, you know, we got NBA players. You look at our people that's NBA superstars, NFL superstars in the entertainment world, in the sports world. You know, look at our people that are entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? We have so many of our people that are multimillionaires. Some of them are even billionaires. Look at how people are advancing and da-da-da. Man, how is that shit trickling down to Israel as a nation? You niggas still in the slums. You still... In the ghettos, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you you still have the poorest of everything, man. When it comes to education, when it comes to goddamn fucking food, when it comes to the goddamn water, man, you, you still suffering at the end of the day. And all I damn, and you, and, and you can say, yeah, Jake, they done made it in the entertainment world. But look, those Jake that they done fucking sold out, what y'all don't understand is, you know, the super elite, they handle this, pull them aside and tell them, hey, you can't go back and help your people at the end of the day. All right, just think about it. All these Jakes. Making these damn millions of dollars, man. You know what I'm saying? In the entertainment world, them niggas could have been and went back to their communities and built up their communities, man, a long fucking time ago at the end of the damn day. But a lot of but but like I said, Esau won't allow that to happen, man. Okay, you know, he'll sit up there and freeze their fucking accounts, you know, or blackball them, or you know what I'm saying, or uh uh threaten them, you know what I'm saying, use those fear tactics on them. Because if they have to, if they make it in Hollywood and you get to a certain level in Hollywood or even in the sports world, man, you got to do some strange things, man. You got to do some strange things for some change at the end of the day. So Esau, he got multiple things he can hold over their head, which would not allow them, you know what I'm saying, to go back and help their community. And, a lot of, and some of those niggas, you know, they have a, a, a narcissist mentality and mindset like Esau. They ain't looking to help their people any damn way. All right. But just making that point. 
You know what I'm saying? This is not our rest, man. This is not our rest at the end of the day. It says, Michael 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it shall destroy you, even with a sword of destruction, because what Babylon represents, it represents everything contrary to the laws and commandments that Yahweh Shemahashah has given to the nation of Israel. Babylon is, is ruled in wickedness because you have the wicked, which is Esau, the third category of man, you know what I'm saying, that's ruling um, through the power of Yahweh Shemahashah, giving this devil power and raising this devil up on the left-hand side to fulfill his prophecy at the end of the day or whatnot, man, all right? But now we come coming to the point where Yahweh Shemahashah about to bring this devil out of power, you know, and like I said, man, these are the same Jakes that still want to see Babylon continuing to go on. The same Jakes going back to ancient Egypt, niggas was uh, murmuring. They were they were they were, they were talking shit against the leadership of Yahweh Shai. You know, they're speaking shit against Moses. They were talking shit against Moses. Oh, oh, Moses, he led us here to the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? For us to die, we we were doing better in Egypt. Here it is. In Egypt, you're getting your ass whipped every damn day. You're getting fucked up in Egypt. Them, them ham mics fucking your ass up. But yet, niggas always got to find, you know what I'm saying, something to complain about, man. You can never satisfy a goddamn nigga. Here it is. Yeah, how about you, man? shy. Made a way for Israel, you know, gave us a light by day, a light by night, defended us from the, the hands of the Pharaoh and his mighty man, he delivered us from the hands of uh of Pharaoh, the you know what I'm saying, and, and his mighty men. All right, Yah Bashimal Shah fed us, you know, from manna from from the heavens. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And also, you know what I'm saying, had meat quail come down as well, too. So, you know, niggas still freaking fucking complain. That what niggas do, always complain. And these are the same spirits that are back here today. To really reap their judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah ultimately at the end of the day, man. But going back to Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction, man. Because what Babylon represents, man, nothing but pure wickedness, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 it represents atheists, man. You know what I'm saying? To be atheists, not even to believe in. A higher power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they, they what, what do they, what, what different propagandas and agendas that they be pushing that, that rainbow agenda to our people at the end of the damn day, man. All right. They, that, that's uplifted and it's wicked behind society at the end of the day. It's polluted. All right. Esau put drugs in our community. All right. Put guns in our community. You know, he set up these goddamn sellouts of our people to influence us to continue to keep us asleep, continue us to continue on, you know what I'm saying, to make us go off, being influencers, setting them up to, 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 to do all kind of wickedness. And, and Jake, they look at these wicked niggas that's in the celebrity world, you know what I'm saying, and they have aspirations that, oh, okay, I can do that too. I can do that too. But look at all the wickedness shit that your ass and rituals you got to participate in in order to get those riches and whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? So this place, like I say, it is polluted, man. All right. It's polluted. The educational system, the religion system, all of that is polluted, man, at the end of the damn day, man. Okay. And if you follow and you pursue it, hey, man, your ass going to be destroyed along with it, man. The only thing we can do is give, give that warning. Because this place is, is destined to be destroyed, man. All right? Simple, simple as that. Man, matter of fact, let me get Isaiah. Let me read Isaiah 31 and reread verse Isaiah 31 and, 31 and 1 on down to verse 3, man. All right? Just to go down, just to, uh, um, just to lamb back, you know, my point that I was making earlier, you know, for, for Jake that want to go down there to Babylon, you want to trust in Babylon, Hey, man, Babylon is going to be to your shame at the end of the day, bro. All right. Isaiah 31 and 1, it says, Woe, woe means destruction to them that go that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many. Yeah, man, because Jake had a mentality mindset that Babylon is going to go on forever. They can't see a kingdom without this damn devil. Got his pale, pale ass, old flat ass, you know what I'm saying? You know, flat footed ass, you know what I'm saying? Ruling. Jake can't see a world without this devil ruling, man. All right? And they being slaves in the damn devil kingdom at the end of the day. These niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, they have Stockholm Syndrome. All right? They have a mentality and a mindset, you know what I'm saying, of a fucking home-born slave at the end of the day, man. All right? You know, they don't have a king-like mentality at the end of the day, a ruling class mentality, okay? All right? It says, woe to them. And woe means destruction, man. All right? To you damn... 
two third niggas, man, to them that go down to Egypt for help. Yeah, whether you thinking that you can trust in the educational system or you think you trust in any political system, you think your vote gonna count or you trust in the financial system the way you think that, you know what I'm saying, man, I can go ahead and I can I can achieve generational wealth for me and my family and your slavery and your captivity. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can achieve generational wealth or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's Jake trusting in this fucking system, man. All right. Which is going to be to your demise, man. Because Babylon and all the dreams and all the bullshit that Esau shot you, man. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing but a bunch of fucking lies. What you don't realize is that this place had an expiration date. And we come into that time of the expiration date. And if you still want to uphold this place, you still want to take on the customs and the traditions of Babylon, you know, so with the pagan freaking holidays and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, you know, you still want to be involved in that in a Babylonian state of mind, then you're going to be destroyed, man, you still want to call on Jesus, Jesus Christ, or Allah, or Buddha, or whatever fake gods you niggas want to believe in, because the true power is Yahweh, which who the world calls Jehovah, all right? That's the Most High's true Hebrew name, Yahweh, which means he is, he is this, all right, you know? Okay, and the Lord, who the world only calls Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Or Yeshua, or Yeshaya, and all that madness. The Lord's name is Yahweh Shah, man, all right? In the Hebrew, all right? In the Pelian Hebrew, which means he's the deliverer, okay? Those are true names of, of our power, and the only power at that, at the end of the damn day. There's no other names that you're going to be saved by up under the sun at the end of the day other than Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. And you have to be of the elect of Israel to be delivered at that. You have to be already predestined and already preordained. But guess what? We don't know who we are, so you can't use that as an excuse neither. Well, God already preordained. Well, guess what? The men out there preaching and teaching, starting with the elders apostles of great millstone to the elder bishops of great millstone to the to the elders of old seven on down. That's what we tell you, man. We say we we, we pray we are of the hopeful elect. Yes, we are doing and we're teaching 100% truth that Yahweh Bashim Havasha has revealed to us, starting from the elders apostles on down. But guess what? If we don't continue to the end, then guess what? We end up the elect. We're going to be destroyed. All right. The Holy Scripture said in Matthew 24th chapter, he that endure to the end shall be saved. So you ain't going to know whether or not you are the elect to you to you on those chariots, bro. So until then, till you get on the chariot, we got to continue on to, to show forth our faith. And how do we show our how do we show forth our faith? All right. Through the display of our works, man. We show our faith through our works at the end of the day, bro. All right. But finishing up, it says. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt, all right, for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Yeah. And one example, you know what I'm saying? They don't seek out the Yahweh Shem and that's Israel, two third niggas, is because during the time of the Beetlejuice, all right, Vicky 19, you know what I'm saying? When some of the so, some of these Jakes, they're working on jobs. To where these jobs told you that they, they was going to do mandates that their employers have to have that beta juice by a certain date. And if you ain't had that beta juice and taking that beta juice, a show verification that you're taking the beta juice, then you was going to be terminated. And a lot of, and some of you couldn't travel if you didn't have verification that you took the beta juice. You couldn't go in certain establishments, business establishments, rather clubs rather certain restaurants or whatnot, uh, certain gyms or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You could not attend or go in unless you had the beta juice or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of you niggas, what you did, you gave in, man. You cave in at the end of the damn day, all right, because of your lack of faith, man, all right? And because you trust in Babylon and your lack of faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and guess what? You know what I'm saying? We didn't, I, you know what I'm saying? I can't recall any brothers of Great Millstone losing no jobs. And if you did have brothers lose jobs, guess what? Yeah, how about your mouth Bless brothers with other jobs, man. All right, you know, okay? And then plus two, brothers, we come together and we um, pull our resources together. So at the end of the day, brothers going to be taken care of regardless at the end of the day, bro. All right, because our faith and our trust going to be in your how about your mouth shot. Not man, not this damn fucking system at the end of the day. And that's why you damn Jake been dropping like flies, man. And a lot of that had to do with you taking that goddamn um, snake poison, man, from Esau. Uh, finishing up, verse 2. It says, Yet he also is is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words. But see, most I ain't going to call back his words, man. So most I said that Babylon going to be destroyed. Babylon going to goddamn it be destroyed, man. Simple as that, man. Matter of fact, I'm, we, we going back to Isaiah 31. But let me bring out this scripture real quick here, man. Because like I said, everything is already predestined, man. Job 14 and 5, seeing his days are determined, 
the number of his months are with thee. And Yahweh Shema Shah is referencing who? Esau. All right. It says his, his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So, you know what I'm saying? Only Yahweh Shema Shah know the date and the time to where he's going to take Esau as out of power at the end of the day, man. Okay. All right. And this devil can't add another second. All right. Uh, another minute, another hour, another day, another week, another month, another year. All right, to his kingdom at the end of the damn day, man. Okay. All right. So he can't pass the bounds that Yahbash Mawasha has set before him, man. All right. And Brock they how Brock they how was shot for that, man. Because most high take this damn devil down. And most high is gonna speed up. It's gonna, gonna speed the time up, which he's speeding up right now. Man, it'll be no flesh remain, man. All right, he saw take everybody out, man. Along with himself. That's a damn devil. If he know that he can't get the kingdom, all right. You know what I'm saying? He know he's gonna go down. Guess what? He's going to try to take everybody else down with them, man. All right. That's how the, that's how the devil do. But anyway, finishing up, it says, um, it says, and will not call back his back in verse two and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work inequity. Now, the Egyptians and the modern day Egyptians are you are the Edomites. OK, now the Egyptians are men and not Yahweh and not God. And, and see, Jake, they, they look at Esau as if he a damn guy. They they fear Esau more than they fear Yahweh by Shemal with Shah. All right? And like I say, prime example. You niggas took that damn beetle juice. All right? You know, you, you didn't have fear in Yahweh by Shemal with Shah. You had fear in Esau when Esau put that full court press on you. If you had trust, like you niggas always in these damn churches that say that we got faith. We have faith in the Lord. We have faith in, our, we have faith in God. We got we got faith in God. But then when Yahweh by Shemal with Shah presents you, all right, you know what I'm saying, positions, the way you have to display your faith. When Yahweh Shemal Shah put different challenges before you, the way you have to show forth your faith, you niggas fail miserably, man. You fail and fall right on your goddamn face, man. All right? Because you niggas run right to fucking Esau for every damn thing, man. Okay? It says, uh, and that going to be to y'all um, destruction, man. All right? It says, when the Lord shall scratch. Um, matter of fact, let me start back at verse 3. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horses... Their horse is flesh and not spirit. Yeah, their horses represent power, man. The power you have by has given them on the left hand side. All right, you know, and what we always tell you, you know what I'm saying? You know, start from those apostles on down to those bitches on down, a great millstone. We always tell you, you know what I'm saying? The right hand of your by is stronger than the left, man. All right. Now, both hands are knock your ass out, but it's more power in the right hand representing the righteous, you know what I'm saying, than, than the left. Okay. It says now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, shall scratch out his hand, both he that helpeth, helpeth shall fall, and he that is hoping, hopping shall fall down, and they all shall uh, fall together. And and, and that, uh, going back to the scriptures, I believe it was it's Proverbs, if I ain't mistaken, I ain't grabbed that scripture in a minute. All right, but niggas that want to help this kingdom, want to continue on, to, you know what I'm saying, um, pushing forth this damn kingdom, guess what, you damn niggas, you're going to fall along with it. When Babylon fall, you're going to fall along with it, man. That's why Proverbs 11 and 21 is written. Thou hand join in hand, the wicked, which is Esau, third category, man. You can read Malachi 1 and 4, you know what I'm saying, to show who the wicked is according to the scriptures. The third category, man, which is the Edomite, starting with you damn uh, super elite, man. All right. It says, Thou, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Yeah, yeah man, the seed of the righteous represents the, the elect of Israel. So this place is going to be, Yahweh Shemash is going to bring judgment to goddamn Babylon, man. All right, you know, whether you whether you believe it or not at the end of the damn day. And those that want to trust in Babylon, guess what, man? You want to keep on praying for Babylon and you want to, you know what I'm saying? You know, thinking you're going to continue to live that fucking American dream and obtain, you know what I'm saying, financial wealth in this wicked ass fucking place, man. Then guess what? You're going to be destroyed, man. All right. You're going you're gonna to be in for a rude awakening, man. You're going to be in for a fucking surprise, man. All right. Let me see here. Shalot. Let me get back, Jeremiah. Hold on, man. Okay. I know what All right. Jeremiah 51 and 9, real quick. Let me read that. Jeremiah 51 and 9, it says, we would have healed Babylon, all right, it represents America, but she is not healed. Yeah, so Babylon ain't going to be healed because Yahweh Shemal was shot already. We, we don't read scriptures. 
This place is going to be destroyed through fire. Through fire. All right. It says, forsake her and let us go every one into his own country for her judgment reaching unto heaven and is lifted up even unto the skies. man. So, you know what I'm saying? This, this place is going to be destroyed by fire. All right. Via the thermonuclear missiles through the power of Yahweh Shem Shah, 200 million, all right, warheads, all right, arrow warheads that's going to hit his mark, all right, you know, and, and they're going to be that destroying wind and it's going to destroy everything in his damn path at the end of the damn day, man, all right, which is everything. It's going to flatten, most of it's going to flatten Babylon, man. Babylon going to be nothing but a goddamn great goddamn desert at the end of the damn day, bro. And like I said, man, and those that want to trust in it, Hey, man, you're going to be left there in, man. You're going to be fucking destroyed, man. Simple as that, bro. But let me get, um, let me see here. What scripture I want to get here? Um, matter of fact, I can get Jeremiah um, 52. Man, I can get Jeremiah 50 because that's good, too. All right. Let me, I start at verse 21. All right. Let me see here. Jeremiah 50. All right. Let me see here. Let me see. I want to start at Shalak. I'm going to start at, yeah, 23 Shalak. I'm going to start at verse 23. I start at 22. Jeremiah 50 and 22. It says, a sound of battle is in the land. Yeah, yeah, um, World War Three, man. All right, you know? And it says, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction, which is ultimately Yahweh Shema is going to destroy Babylon. All right? Destruction is going to come to Babylon. Okay? When, um... When the um, the EU, all right, going to turn on the whore, which is Babylon, and also the other nations, man. You know what I'm saying? Russia, China, you know what I'm saying? You know, the BRICS nation as well, too. All right. You know, they're going to have the missiles. All right. And the main um, the main players are Russia and got them China, man. At the end of the day, man, that, that bear re represents Russia, which is ultimately going to take down through the power of Yahweh by Shema Shah, which is ultimately going to go. Lead off, man, destroying goddamn Babylon, man. All right, having those arches, man, ain't right here at Babylon. They're gonna hit it, gonna hit every single mark at the end of the day. But I'm um, going back to verse 23. It says, How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a des desolation among the nations? All right, future prophecy, which is about to come. All right, so why would you want to put any hope, or any faith, or invest anything? In a place that's going to be destroyed. The place that's already preordained to be destroyed, man. You'll be a damn fool, man. All right? Because everything you invest in this place going to be destroyed along with your fucking ass, man. All right? How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? Yeah, I mean, because Babylon, Babylon, America, Esau, he was the one playing with the um, atomic bomb back in the day, man. All right? You know, when he, when he, uh, when he hit, when we hit Japan. You know what I'm saying? With Kimishima Yakishaki, those, those 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 atomic bombs or whatnot when they hit when they hit their mark, okay? And that quiet and he quieted the whole earth, man, because none of the nations didn't have uh, nuclear or atomic at that time. You know what I'm saying? Atomic bombs, they didn't have that capability, man. Okay, you know, because Esau blessed with the fucking sword, he had it and he used it, and that's how he gained power throughout the world at the end of the day. But now, yeah, how about Shema allow all these other nations as well too? All right, the even the the even out the um the playing field. The other nations have nuclear capabilities now, so you know Esau can have his hand on the button, but his other nations can have their hand on their buttons as well too. And you have the other nations aligned with each other, like I said, the BRICS nations, man. Okay, you know, like 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 China, goddamn um, goddamn Iran, you know what I'm saying? Uh, goddamn South Africa, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying? Um, Russia, you know what I'm saying? You know, so. All these places, like I said, man, they align themselves up, you know what I'm saying, with, you know what I'm saying, against goddamn um, Babylon, man, and all that through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, man, okay? It says, um, we can finish, we can finish up, finish up here. It says, um, Shalak, verse 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art, thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware, thou art found. And also caught because thou hast scriven, scriven against the Lord, man. Okay. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his ignition, the nuclear capability, nuclear weapons, for this is the work of the Lord. Yep. So Yahweh Shem Shah, 
nor share his glory with nobody. It says, for this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Rashad, God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. And the modern day Chaldean is here in Babylon. It says, come against her from the from the utmost from the utmost border, open her storehouse, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Yeah, destroy all of it, man. All of Babylon will be destroyed. It says, let nothing of her be left. Ooh, come on. So why you want to trust in Babylon, man? Why would you want to trust in Babylon, man? Yeah, I, that, that may be the title right there in my list. <laughs> why you want to trust? Because Babylon about to be a big fucking sacrifice, man. All right? You know, Babylon about to be that altar, man. That Yahweh Shemasha about to freaking destroy, man. Okay, that one about to be a big ass sacrifice. Verse 27, it says, Slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto, unto them, destruction to them, man. For their day has come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord. Yahweh Shemal Rashad, our power, the vengeance of his temple. All right, it says, yeah, and that and that gonna be the elect. It says the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord, our power. Yahweh Shemayah the vengeance of His temple, and they're going into the elect, the only ones that are going to escape. All right, this uh upcoming destruction. All right, that Yahweh Shemayah shall be bringing forth. It says uh verse twenty nine. It says call together the archers against Babylon. All right, all these other nations, man. All right, EU, all right, you know what I'm saying? UN, all these nations, they come together against Babylon, man, and, and the land of Israel, okay? It says, All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her works, according to all that she have done, do unto her. See, so the Most High, <laughs> payback, baby, payback. All the bloodshed you did to Israel, all the destroying of this land, destroying of the world, destroying of the air, the, the goddamn. Freaking good. Look, air quality is poor. The air quality is fucking poor. All right. Polluting the fucking water. All right. You know what I'm saying? You devils out there polluting, the, defiling the damn food. You shouldn't have nothing called GMOs, man. Frankenstein food. Not even real food. Not real fruit at the end of the day, man. You devils, you got to fucking go. You got a lot to, hey, you, and you're going to pay. You're going to pay for all your wicked inequity that you devils committed. All right. And still committing at the end of the day. From Yahweh Shemayahushah, it says, "For she have been proud against the Lord Yahweh Shemayahushah, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, yes, a proud, so proud that Esau say he's God. He put up his image as if he's God. That's how proud these devils are, man. The old leprosy bastard. All right, and Yahweh Shemayahushah ain't look nothing like you damn devils, man. All right, most I ain't had no damn leprosy, man. And you devils gonna pay for that, man. Blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. You devils gonna pay for that, bro. You got a lot to fucking pay for, man." And you're going to pay for it, man. All right. You know, them thousand years, man, um, in captivity and slavery up in the nation of Israel through the power of Yahweh Shem Shah, man. Hey, that get back, baby. That get back is coming. All right. Um, verse 29. All right. It says, um, matter of fact, Shalot. That's verse um, 30. It says, therefore shall her young men fall in the streets and all her men of the war shall be cut off. In that day, say up the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah. Yeah, so. If you're a Hebrew Israelite and you up in Esau's military, man, guess what, bro? Your ass gonna be fucking destroyed because you're gonna find yourself fighting against your Abba Shemal And that gonna be a big ass fucking L, man. There shouldn't be no Israelites in this devil military in this fucking army, man. Okay? But, like I say, the Jake's that's in the, in this army, you're gonna be destroyed, bro. Simple as that. Ain't, ain't, ain't no other way, you know what I'm saying, to, to break that down to explain that. All right? You know? It's gonna, it gonna be what it's gonna be, bro. All right. It says, because I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shema Rashad of hosts. So the most high is against Babylon. So for you to be with Babylon and say God bless Babylon, that means you're against Yahweh Shema Rashad. And guess what? You know what I'm saying? You That's going to be a big L on your ass, man. All right. You ain't get no W's against Yahweh Shema Rashad. So you the damn fool, man. You better get right, get on the winning team. You Hebrew Israelite better repent and return back to Yahweh Shema Rashad. All right, and sit at the foot of the prophets, man, and listen and take instructions and take corrections and learn. All right, okay, and then when you learn, start applying what you learn. Start applying what you learn. Okay, all right. Finishing up, it says, "Because I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord God, Yahweh Shemayah Rashad of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee, and and the and the most proud shall stumble and fall." Whoo. And none shall raise him up, and I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Ooh! So your ass gonna get burned up, man. You reading it here? We reading it right here. 
We're reading it right here, man. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. The children of Israel represents the northern kingdom, and the children of Judah will represent the southern kingdom. All right? We're oppressed together. Yeah, because all the tribes, man. That's why El Pastor Har always say, you know what I'm saying? Babylon is the main place of focus at the end of the day, which we're reading right here in the scripture, because that's where the great deliverance is going to take place. Even though you're going to have the elect that's scattered throughout the four corners going to be delivered, but the majority of the bulk of the elect is going to be over here in Babylon, man. All right? It says the children of Judah were oppressed together and all that took them captives, held them fast. They refused to let them go. Cause we still slavery, still captive, still in captivity. All right. Even to this very day, man. All right. We still at the goddamn bottom at the end of the day. Okay. You know, even when you have niggas that y'all think made it like Bill Cosby or P. Diddy, what Esau does once a uh, Bill Cosby or P. Diddy, they go off the script. All right. Once, you know what I'm saying? Bill Cosby, he wanted to buy NBC. All right, you know what I'm saying, wanting to flex along with P. Diddy, thinking he above the fucking law. What and you know, he wanting to sue, you know what I'm saying, a uh, 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 corporation of Esau, you know what I'm saying, um, that liquor, um, I forgot that liquor brand that Esau, that Diddy tried to sue, but nevertheless, you know what I'm saying, what the, what Esau did, they let they let Bill Cosby and, and, and P. Diddy, which were two prominent, uh, uh, renowned men of Israel, both on wicked ass niggas, but nevertheless. Both of them was like billionaires at one time. Both of them was billionaires. And what Esau did, you know what I'm saying? Esau showed him and told him, hey, y'all still niggas, man. I don't give a fuck how much success y'all done had, how much influence y'all have. You know what I'm saying? You know, we raised you up and we made you stars and we can bring your ass down. And look what happened. Bill Cosby, you know what I'm saying? You know, ass was in jail. And here it is, P. Diddy, you know what I'm saying? What they doing now, you know what I'm saying? You know, going through that public humiliation and embarrassment. You know, a lot of companies that was with Diddy, you know what I'm saying, pulling away from a lot of endorsements. So, nigga, losing fucking money and shit. His reputation, you know what I'm saying, that he did have is, is garbage now, all right, you know? So, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't care who you are, man, you know what I'm saying, of Israel or whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying, you know? Hey, you know, two-thirds. Esau gonna, gonna give you a nigga a wake-up call. I don't care how much money you niggas got, how much power you think you have, man. Esau gonna still let you know you a nigga, all right? Now, 34, it says their redeemer is strong, all right? The Lord of hosts is his name. Yahweh Shemashah. He shall um, thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon, man. That disquiet is going to be through those damn missiles, man. But, you know, the is going to be delivered, you know what I'm saying? You know, in those chariots of, of Yahweh Shemashah. But nevertheless, man, we, we see, and we just, we just read, you know what I'm saying, that the future judgment of this place. Babylon is going to go down by fire. So why would you trust in Egypt? Why why trust in Egypt, man? All right? You know? Question mark. All right? Unless you're a slow belly or something trusting in this place. We done told you what the future judgment of this place is. But nevertheless, man. All right? That's the end of this lesson here. All right? Pray and I hope that it was edifying to the body of the hopeful elect. And with that, want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Also, you know what I'm saying? Secondly, double honors to the elders apostles, great millstone who rule well. And third, salutation to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that pushing forth his word and the truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.